Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and I am done. Solstice armor is finished. So that grind is done, but it's Zerde, and that's what you guys came for. So, we are on Nessus, we are in uh, a Watcher's Grave, and we're going up to the big old barge to see what's going on. Zer has landed himself on the barge, which is so nice that he gets to hold up temporary shop with a big gold thing. See if we've got anything good, anything new, anything you might want to make sure you get your hands on. And let's get to it. So he's right up here. Let's see if there's anything good. Okay, we definitely have something new. Uh, quick covering, uh, faded engram, still to my knowledge, only through Forsaken Exotics. Nothing beyond that, again, to my knowledge, but I don't know if that's changed. Also have your consumable Five of Swords. This is your Nightfall Challenge card. This is how you get your modifiers. If you're going for that 200k, going to be using this if you don't have it. Now, the good stuff. Uh, a couple things in here you're definitely going to want. One, Arbalist. Now, the only way you could have gotten the Arbalist previously, I think, was the Revelry event. And this is a unique gun. So it is a kinetic linear fusion rifle. So it's got the charge time and the single shot. It's powerful, but it's kinetic. It's the only special one. The really only other one we've got is, like, Crooked Fang, things like that. Um, Sleeper's one of these. Queen Breaker. But they're all in the heavy slot. This is the only one not in a heavy slot. So it is pretty unique. Compounding force, fire slugs that cause massive damage to elemental shields of enemy combatants. And then we've got disruption break. Breaking an enemy shield with this weapon makes them more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief period of time. So if you do break a shield, you can do more damage with this as well. Composite stock, uh, projection fuse, extended barrel, all pretty normal stuff. But yeah, this is the first time we're going to see Arbalist here as a... Kind of pretty cool weapon, actually, to see from Xur. So if you somehow missed out on this one, definitely come in here and grab it. Other exotics we've got. For the Warlock, we've got Crown of Tempest. Definitely one I recently used because I was grinding out all my stuff. Got a pretty good set of modifiers here. If you like machine guns, I'm not saying Crown of Tempest is the best when it comes to PvP. Most people are going to use a different super. Um, some travel around with it and still get some uh, lightning fingers going on, but the modifiers on this thing... Machine gun reserves and machine gun targeting, those two together, at least for, you know, another month and a bit, you'll be able to enjoy those. So pretty good set of modifiers, but your perk here is arc ability kills, ex increase the recharge rate of your arc abilities, and extend the duration of storm trance. So if you go in with this and with storm trance, and for some reason you've got the melee and grenade up at the same time, you've got the They're option to have your inspiring. super last for a really long time. So it's actually one of the better ones for um, Stormcaller, probably to make it last the absolute longest. Definitely a good one if you don't have it for Ark. Shinobu's Vow for Hunters. Improved Skip Grenade. So you're tracking, I think it's farther and quicker or something like that. Definitely makes them better. And you gain an additional Skip Grenade charge. Skip Grenades returns enemy... Skip Grenade returns energy when it damages enemies. So you get some energy back, you have a second charge, and it improves the tracking. If you like Skip Grenades as a hunter, which are, you know, used to have their moment of being crazy, they're still pretty damn good, though. So we don't know how these are all going to be balanced, if they're going to touch many of them when it comes to Shadow Keep. But if you have the exotics, you will be able to pull at least the set roll from your collections on October 1st when Shadow Keep comes out. So if there's any of these that you're ever missing, make sure you buy them so you have them in your collection. You don't want to miss out completely just because you didn't pick it up. Even if the mods, like, if the perks here aren't amazing, even though Submachine Gun and Grenade Launcher Scavenger, I could see some recluse action being worked right here. You still want to make sure you have it in your collection, though, so don't miss it if you don't have it. Finally, we've got Ashen Wake, probably the weakest of the three. Titans here not having the best day. Fusion grenades now explode on impact and gain increased throw speed. So you throw them faster, and they explode when they get there as opposed to attaching. That's all it does. I've never really seen these have, like, a huge benefit. I'm not really sure what the build purpose of these was for. If somebody else can think of it, cool. But, I mean, if a fusion grenade attaches versus a fusion grenade exploding on impact... I mean, at least it's a quicker exploding grenade, but that's about all I can think of. So it's not really doing too much. Linear fusion loader, submachine gun loader, momentum transfer. You got special and heavy ammo finder. Those aren't really going to mean too much when we come into the fall. And again, if you don't have this, maybe it gets buffed in the fall. Maybe it gets buffed later. Add it to your collections if you are missing it. But the big one here has to be Arbalist. If you don't have this one somehow already, make sure you buy it because you're not really going to want to miss out on something that was just an event. And it's mostly just in the exotic loot pool, but if you can just pick it up today, get it. So I know some of you guys may have got it for a random drop, but if you haven't yet, add this one. 
any of the armor if you don't have it make sure you add these to your collections as well because they're just going to be a good thing to pull when you get to shadow keep in case something gets buffed crazy crown of tip is pretty good for your art kills for your warlock supers that's what i use to finish up my hunter or finish up my warlock uh solstice armor sorry but that's it for today, guys. Uh, just got done recording uh, the Last Word podcast. If you guys didn't catch it live, you guys can check the archive later on both Iron Lords and my YouTube channels. We'll have the audio up on Google Play, iTunes, Spotify, all those places you listen to podcasts. And if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like below. Leave a comment if you got questions, thoughts, builds that you use some of these things for. And what you guys are looking forward to in Shadowkeep. Still very curious uh, as we have so much info coming. What you guys are liking and disliking about the news we've got lately. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Enjoy. Uh, if I do any streams, maybe just kind of casual stuff. Uh, but armor is done. So thank you guys for being part of that grind who did watch me live on Twitch. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon.